Today in Crypto Solana is a highly scalable decentralized blockchain developed with a unique method of ordering transactions that significantly improves its transaction throughput, to the point that it has consistently been processing over 2,500 transactions per second. It claims to be able to process 50,000 transactions per second. The power of Solana's cheap transactions is felt when it's time to pay transaction fees with users being able to move funds on the network for a fraction of a cent. By comparison, the average transaction fee on the Bitcoin network is around $1,80, even after dropping nearly 58% this year. Meanwhile, Ethereum gas fees cost an average of $22 and up per transaction. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. The price of the cheapest board ape NFT for sale is now 53,9 Ether, EDH or $215,067, while the minimum asking price for a crypto punk is 52,69 ETH, which is currently worth $210,239, according to OpenSea. All month long, there has been speculation about the possibility of board ape flipping crypto punks in terms of NFT floor price. Earlier this week, Cointelegraph did a deep dive into the potential factors that could affect the value of one collection over the other. Whether owners had a preference for intellectual property rights or over certain partnerships and collaborations, the driving force behind any NFT project, blue chip or not, is its community. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. Publicly traded crypto mining firm Hive Blockchain is expecting to produce 6,900 Ether, EDH and 670 Bitcoin BTC, for the fiscal quarter ending on December 31, marking a respective drop and increase over that of the previous quarter. In a Wednesday notice to shareholders, Hive said it had mined 6,280 Ether from October 1 to December 21 and was on track to mine more than 65 ETH daily for the remainder of 2021. This project did total 6,900 ETH would represent a decrease of more than 20% from the 8,688 ETH the company mined from July 1st to September 30. However, Hive is expecting its Bitcoin production to increase by 2% quarterly, from roughly 656 BTC to 670 BTC continue reading on Cointelegraph. Terra becomes the second biggest DeFi chain in terms of total value locked after Ethereum. Terra. LUNA, an open source stablecoin network, hit an all time high of $20,05 billion in total value locked, or TVL, across its 13 product offerings, according to industry data. On December 1, Terra's TVL was at $11,9 billion, signifying a 68% increase in less than a month. This means that the platform's users are investing in large quantities into the protocol to receive staking rewards. The price of Luna Terra's native token, is also steadily trending upwards, trading above $94 with a 31% increase in one week, according to Cointelegraph Markets Pro. The coin now has a total market capitalization of $34,8 billion, placing it in the top 10 crypto projects. In terms of TVL, Terra is now the second largest DeFi network below Ethereum and above Binance Smart Chain. For reference, Bayesse has 225 products in its DeFi ecosystem and a TVL of $16,7 billion, which has been decreasing all month, while Ethereum has $155,7 billion in TVL. Related, Price Analysis 1222, BTC, EDH, BNB, Sol, ADA, XRP, Luna. Avits, Dot, Doge Terra is an application-specific blockchain built on the Cosmos SDK and Tendermint consensus. Users can mint US dollar-pegged stablecoins and convert those stablecoins into Luna, the native staking and governance asset of Terra. Within the Terra ecosystem, savings protocol anchor, ANC is topping the charts for the application with the highest TVL, which at the time of publication is $8,7 billion. According to DeFi Llama, activity within ANC has most likely contributed to Terra's value increase. The migration is complete and the dollar blue new contracts plus the web app have been updated successfully. https colon slash slash t dot co slash lnc6y8ycs. 
Google Trends data reveals interest in NFTs has overtaken that in crypto for the first time ever this week as the digital collectibles boom continues. As an on Twitter pointed out, latest data from another factor could also be that since crypto and Bitcoin have already established themselves as popular terms, there would not be as many people directly searching for terms like these. While NFTs are only just now getting mainstream exposure so there are many newcomers looking the term up. At the time of writing, Bitcoin's price floats around $48,5k, down 2% in the last 7 days. Below is a chart that shows the trend in the coin's value over the past 5 days. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.